Well, people in Pueblo should feel a bit safer tonight. Police teamed up with several agencies over the weekend, including the FBI, to arrest gang members. There have been 13 gang-related shootings in Pueblo this year. Cardio News Channel 13's Michelle San Miguel is live in Pueblo. And Michelle, this sting ended with dozens of arrests. Last Saturday night, there were 65 local, state, and federal officers in Pueblo. So police say when this man, 30-year-old Jeremiah Embry, walked into this Dollar General with a gun and robbed the store, it didn't take long to find him. His arrest combined with dozens of others, giving peace to a community that's been on edge. Playing has been interrupted one too many times <laughs> by police. Police sirens. You hear them all the time, day and night. Laura Smith and her mom say the violence has gotten so bad. You know, we've thought many times about leaving the east side. The police department's latest roundup of gang members is the streak of good news they've been eager to hear. A lot of this operation was based on manpower from outside organizations. Just having the, the feet on the streets is what helps us out. 47 people arrested, most with felony warrants. Police also recovered four stolen vehicles and two guns. Those are guns that are going and doing drive-bys, shooting people. More guns we can get off the streets, more drugs we get off the streets, and the cars they're using to commit those crimes, then the better off we are. Ow. The arrests make the Smith family feel safer living on the city's lower east side. But not enough to let their guard down. It makes you think, um, you know, are we even, are the kids even safe here? Careful, Shana. Pueblo police have not released the names or charges of the 47 people who were arrested. As soon as we get that information, of course, we'll bring that to you. Reporting live in Pueblo, Michelle San Miguel, KRDO, News Channel 13. Thanks, Michelle.